Hi, my name is Dr. Kenny Russell. I'm here with my wife, Haley. We're from God of Life Ministries International, and we've put this daily devotion together to give you hope. We want to encourage you, for we know that the Word of God has a lot to say to you and to me. And as we make declaration of the Word, as we declare the Word together, as we speak the Word together, let us not give up meeting together, but let us encourage each other all the more as we see the day approaching. Hi, welcome to Word of God Speak. I'm Dr. Kenny Russell. And I'm Hayley Russell. And we've been reading from Psalm 40, which has been really exciting because mm -hmm. we've been talking about trust in the Lord and how waiting patiently is part of trust in the Lord. And we don't like to. Yes. <laughs> and um, we were looking at, you know, how we can wait patiently and the next verse on verse 2 is that he lifted me out of the slimy pit mm. out of the mud and mire and he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand mm. uh, yeah just reading this um, I believe so many people go through um, such hard times when they're learning and growing in Christ. You know, I believe that the hardships and things we face are vitally important to us maturing in the Lord. We read in James that we have to consider it pure joy when we face trials of many kinds. So that the perseverance, uh, when it's done its work, we, you know, it will create maturity in our lives. You know, you want to make sure you walk with people that have been through some things in their lives. Um, because they understand and can relate to the difficulties. Well, here is David, you know, he has a call. He is appointed and anointed by God. And there he is comparing himself to being put in a slimy pit like a prisoner whilst watching travelers go by, succeeding in what they're doing. He could see people who were walking in blessing, but he had such a powerful anointing and call in his life. Now, when we study it's the like psalm, Joseph, isn't it? It sounds like Joseph yeah. in the pit. You know, mm. he knew where he was going. That's right. He knew this was preparation, and it's like he just had to hang in there through every thing that went on in his life. But even that, when he ended up in jail. Mm -hmm. But that's what's powerful pit. when we when we see what's happening here with David. What I love about the psalms, and, and as David is explaining, you know, he did Psalm 22, and hopefully we'll go into that in a few days. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? What was this coming out of his spirit? What depths was he taken to? But do you know, in the midst of it, he his heart was unto God. He just sought God. And today, no matter what you're going through, um, you might have business deals that you're looking at today. You, you, you might be working on new innovative projects. Uh, you might just be a housewife today and you're looking at different ways and how you can be a blessing to your family. But the key is this, let's keep our hearts right. Let's keep our hearts fixed on the Lord. And even if you go through difficulties, you know, we, we've shared this time and time again, you know, the power of aligning yourselves with the Lord. You know, with, with, it talks about standing on the rock he set my feet in the rock, gave me a firm place to stand. Every time you know you're in a pit situation, God will always take us to a place, a firm place, and give us a rock to stand on. And I pray that this scripture from Psalm 40 will be a rock to you. Just wait patiently on him. He's going to lift you out of that pit. And it says in verse 4, Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust. So be blessed and trust the Lord. He will preserve you. Remember, yes, you're will. not shelved without a preservation order. That's you? right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless. I want to encourage you to take advantage of Word of God Speak on the internet. Just imagine, you can watch this daily devotion at a time that suits you, and you can watch it over and over again. I want to thank you for being part of this series. Make it a daily part of your life and see, together, we can make a difference.